Hello. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me today as I discuss the sixth part of the book Pantheism Plus, which deals with the nature of suffering. As I have said before, I believe that suffering is the consequence of causing harm to others either in this life or in a past life slash lived by the principles of karma. If you harm others in this life, suffering will befall you in this life or in a future life slash lived. I have also said that I believe that this bad karma occurs because of the unwholesome intentions of an action slash action and not the actions themselves. I believe in the principles of karma and how it causes suffering or benefits one, not for an entirely objective reason, but because it seems to make sense when applied to what seems to be undeserved suffering in this world, and it follows the principle of the natural world, every action, but, in this case, the intention of an action has an equal and opposite reaction. However, I believe that bad karma alone is not the only way by which one may suffer. One may also suffer due to attachment to worldly things, because all worldly things are temporal and attachment to them will inevitably lead to suffering. The state of nirvana can bring an end to suffering. Thank you for your time. Goodbye and may peace, love, and happiness be with you.